In this video, we will be learning about how to use special quick menu buttons, as well as how to create labels within our quick menu. We're going to start with creating a special quick menu button that lets us switch between two menu sets. For example, let's say you have a breakfast menu set and a lunch menu set, and at a certain time of the day, you would like your cashiers to switch to using one menu over the other. How would we make the switch between menu sets on our point of sale terminal? For this demo, I'm going to call this screen switch menu. And I'm going to use it as a way to switch between menu set one and menu set two. To create a special menu button on the screen, simply right click and select add special button. A pop-up window will appear titled set special button. We're going to select the type of this button to be a menu set by selecting the menu set option. When we select the menu set option, you'll notice a menu set dropdown is now showing. Since we are already in menu set one, we're going to create, be creating a button to navigate to menu set two. Let's label this quick menu button menu set two in the button text field. Then press save at the bottom of this pop-up window. Now we have a way to navigate to menu set two from menu set one. To make sure we don't get stuck within one menu, let's create a way to navigate back from menu set two to menu set one by creating another special quick menu button. It is always recommended to do this when creating menu switch buttons, regardless of how many menu sets you are switching between. We'll touch on menu set two, and just like before, create a button to move back to menu set one. Right click to add special button. Select the menu set option. Let's title this menu set one because that's where we're navigating to. The drop down stays the same. And then we can hit save. Let's now take a look at how these menu switches work on our point of sale terminal quick menu. Remember, any menu changes require a data sync. For purposes of this video, this has already been completed. Right now, we are currently in menu set one. We'll touch on our switch menu tab over here and bring up the switch menu screen. Upon pressing the quick menu button, my menu has now switched to menu set two. Now I can navigate back and forth between menu sets by using the special buttons I created, switching between menu set one and menu set two. Let's now go back to our quick menu and create the second type of special menu button. We're going to be creating a special quick menu discount button. Let me create a screen label discounts for the quick menu button to live in. Let's right click and select add special button. This time, we're going to select the price modifier discount option. In the price mod dropdown, we will see several types of price modifiers. For today's demo, we're going to select the 15% discount, a simple price modifier that will apply a blanket 15% discount to our entire transaction. We will label this 15% discount and save. Let's take a look at how this new discount button works on our point of sale terminal. Remember, before testing this out, you would need to complete a data sync first in order to see menu changes. Let's go ahead and order some items. Let's head over to our discounts tab and press our blanket 15% discount to see what happens. As you can see, all items have been discounted by 15%. And that's how we can use discount buttons on our quick menu. 
The last thing we're going to learn today is how to create a label on our quick menu. These buttons will not be actual buttons and cannot be pressed to add an order to a transaction. However, they are useful for organizing our quick menu screens. Let's say, for example, your menu has items that are only available on certain days of the week. It would be useful to add labels like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so forth to your quick menu to organize the menu items you sell on certain days. Let's start by creating a place in our global menu items list for our labels to exist. We will create a group called MISC for miscellaneous and a category called labels within that. Let's go ahead and add menu items with our label names. Remember, these menu items will be set to a label type and will not behave like regular menu items in our quick menu. They will only be labels. And there you go. I've added a couple of menu items to our miscellaneous group and are into our labels category. Now that we've created them, let's change them to be a label type. To do this, navigate to the advanced setup tab. You will see your screen split into three areas. First, the global menu items list on the left. Second, the interface link titles in the middle. And third, an area to associate an item with an interface link on the right hand side. To set our menu items to a label type, we first need to find and select the interface link called QM label in our middle window over here. There we go. Now we can click and drag and drop the menu items that we want to be label types into the interface link area in the window over here. By doing so, we are applying the interface link QM label to these menu items. Lastly, we will now place our label menu items onto our quick menu. Simply navigate back to the quick menu tab. Let's create a new screen. and then drag them over. Remember, these are just labels. Because we have done some menu changes, we would now need to data sync. For purposes of this video, this has already been completed. Let's now take a look at how it appears in our quick menu. Okay, let's navigate to our week tab. We have our labels added here for us. When I press the label buttons, nothing is added to the transaction into my quick order window. So even though these buttons exist, they only act as labels on our quick menu screen. And that covers some of our advanced menu setup options. Thank you for watching.